Okay, uh, my name's Luke Johnson and I've been a full-time teacher at this school for three years. In the last couple of years we've participated in the National Tree Planting Day. Uh, as a result of that, every kid in the school has a name tag on a tree, which gives them the incentive to basically uh, track their growth um, throughout the six or seven years, however long they need to be at this school. Uh, we've also planted a whole heap of smaller shrubs in our horseshoe that's up there that you've seen before. Uh, now the, the advantage there is that provides a lot of habitat for um, smaller animals and things like that and also will help stabilise one of the contour banks for our wetland as well. Uh, we've installed eight vegetable gardens in the area. Um, we've got four classes that have their own veggie patch and there's also four veggie patches that are looked after by our gardening group each Tuesday who do an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, we've installed, as you can see behind us, a um, chicken um, run as well, uh, which myself and the GA build over a couple of weekends too. The chickens not only provide um, income through the eggs that they um, produce for us, but also it's a good way for us to recycle all our crunch and zip scraps that we have at the school as well. Uh, we also put a lot of those crunch and zip scraps into the worm farms we have at the school and also a recycling bin as well. Basically do is when I've organised say a working bee for example we'll advertise well in advance in our um, newsletter and we've also got a chalkboard up at the top of the school as well where we have a lot of information um, in terms of inviting parents to do all those types of things. Uh, in terms of the Alive program, we were invited uh, by the committee to join that uh, about eight months ago and um, we've uh, submitted a project proposal whereby we're going to install an artificial wetland on site, okay, which I believe is very, very unique um, in Australia, let alone in New South Wales. Um, we believe that it's a very, very um, worthwhile cause, mainly because the site is very, very steep and we get a huge amount of water on this site and um, it gets wasted for the most part. So what we're planning on doing is recycling all of the water by um, harvesting it through a whole series of contour banks and um, letting it run for a whole heap of natural filters like through rocks and also by um, going through a whole series of plants as well, take out all the nutrients and we'll um, eventually get a pump down here and we'll start um, pumping the water back up to the tanks up the top for use in the gardens up the top and at the same time it provides a really really good habitat also for all the native um, especially aquatic fauna in the area as well a nice little safe zone it'll be fully fenced off um, so no kids will be able to access it no feral animals will be able to get in or out so it'll be quite a nice little sanctuary I think I worked out the other day it'll be close to about seven or eight hundred square metres in size by the time it's fully fenced off. I'm Tegan. I'm Chloe. I'm in year three. Oh yeah, K Casey. Michael. Um, the contour bank, when it rains, all the water comes down and goes into the wetland. And we are creating a lot of homes for animals in the environment. We've learnt what a wetland is and we've um, put some plants in near the wetland. We helped by watering. We put, we built the contour bank and put over 200 plants there. 